Alright everyone, welcome to XCOM 2. So, as we know, I was doing a series on this earlier, but I seem to have a knack for getting corrupted saves. So, I guess here I am today playing a different save. Um, I will need the Iron Man mode, cause... Eh. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna enable everything, so... I know, I'm just going in. Excuse me for drinking liquids. I'm probably gonna end it out though. Unless it's super funny. Now. Metis 1 5. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Okay, okay. So we should be fine to make a first move. At least up to here. Now, I'm going to set up someone right here. Yeah, there we go. Location confirmed. What's happening? Whoa! Okay, there we go. My stick is not walking itself anymore. That's good. There we go. Ten four. Now, finally, this person to go over here. Got it covered. All right. Move this person up to here because I don't know where the aliens are right now. So until I get These a visual on them, the advent forces we've dealt with, they're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. All right, so I just got eyes on the enemy. I can hit two of them with this girl. Eyes on the prize. They're out of the line of sight for these two, which is sad because that's a very good position to be in. Now, I would probably like to be up on this statue with this dude. Affirmative. This lady can go right about here. I'm all over it. And this dude can go where I was going to originally put the other guy. Copy that. So I got a shot on these two. This person's got a shot on the other two. Actually, no, they got shot on all three. That's good. This person's got a shot on two. Wait, who has the best shot here? So it's a 69% who has the best shot. So everyone else will be set up for Overwatch. Got it covered. I'm on it. And then we will fire at the best hit target. Actually, no, we'll just pop this off. No, we're going to pop this off really big. That's how we're going to start. We're going to send a message to these aliens. We don't want you on our planet no more. Although, if there's real aliens out there, I want you, please, come save me. <laughs> what am I talking about, dude? But anywho. Yes, I'm going to throw a grenade. Get ready for a surprise! Alright, here we go. Take that grenade, dudes. We're spotted! No, I mean, it's not like I opened up very stealthily or anything. And they just got the scroll. There are two of them out there. Actually, no, this one person might kill, kill him. Confirmed. Yeah, let's go. Enemy destroyed. I feel I good about that. Easier. Now, the final target should be coming, which is the captain. And he should be relatively easy to handle, considering that there's only one of him and there's four of us. Position confirmed. But obviously, don't want to get too cocky. The advent officers seem more capable. Yes, there's us. more here. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. So now, 
This is what's going, it's going to get hard to fight them because they're in pretty good cover. So I'll take a shot because I'm getting lucky with this, man. I'm normally not this. I normally do not do this good at XCOM. Um, I shall set him up to throw a grenade, probably. Because, obviously, priority one is to keep all my people alive. And if that means to throw grenades at every possible moment at a time, then so be it. Confirm. Equipment is the next priority, so I'll get his equipment next turn. If at all possible, for now, I'm just going to move people up into preferable positions. Moving out. And uh, I don't want to move too fast, either. So I will just look, because normally I can get people doing things like these when you just... Uh, anyway. That's about half of his health down, and now this person gets a shot, too. And there we go, he's dead. Target neutralized. So now we only got one Advent Cooper left. As I said, I, or I never said that, but I never expected not to get hit in this series. I am no perfect general. Now what type of shot do I have on him? Okay, not a good one. So I'm gonna go get the stuff and get out. A scope, nice. I like that. Object secure. Now, I don't have a good shot on him, so I am going to get into a flanking position. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Now, I could be easily flanked here, but there's also a chance for me not to be flanked Menace here. You're near the target position. Now, I could sit here again, but I do not feel like sitting here with this dude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him up to the monument. And I'm going to have him throw a grenade, because once again, grenades are probably the safest way to put down this enemies. For you. And that didn't get him, which is a-okay. Never expected it to. There now. So now what we do is we head this chick over, and we can throw another grenade if this person cannot get a good shot on him. Before the time is up. So probably right here would be the best Headed shot down. area. It's not going to be much better than the 26% chance. But sometimes you get lucky, but the time we didn't. That and that's, that's, I mean, that's XCOM, honestly. But now we throw our grenade to prevent death of our soldiers, oh, and we call it good. The best missions are ones you survive. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need so to get now I send my trooper. Yep, we do need to get those charges planted. And there we go. That's how you get them on track. So sometimes you have to control how the game works a bit. And that's it, okay. That's every game for you. We have a limited window to act before yep. advent responds. I know. To get those charges planted on and now the you plant the charges, and here we go. Menace 1-5. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. And boy. So I'd say that was pretty successful. Only one person injured. That's pretty good. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer. Yeah, it's 15 to days. It's actually not that bad. Ricky Ray. All right, what are you? You are a ranger. Primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Thank you, Central. And so you can either go with a scout, which will make you obviously more sneaky, or assault, which will make you more damaging. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Nice. And squad sights an automatic one. That's beautiful, honestly. That is a beautiful first one. First ability. 
and now the heavy weapon specialist is out. Demolitions experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we That's need. okay with me. Alrighty. And now finally we got the uh equipment specialist deploy robotic yeah. drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty Alrighty. so now we have a scope uh six corpses and you like the scope a lot That'll help. Going stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we I wouldn't say healthy, he's the best. I'd sure say recover, given time. he's an injured person. All right, now because I want this to kind of look like an actual professional resistance move it, movement, I'm going to color things in a more of a more serious way, so there won't be any flamboyant colors, like um, you know, a hot pink. God, although I do like it, it's silly. It's not what I'm about. And I do like him a lot, so I'm gonna keep him as the way he is. Once he gets a nickname, I'll nickname him one of my friends. And that plus the kind of drab color that we have. And the weapon color can be a basic... I kind of want it to be um, the same color as her armor almost. So yeah, that looks good. I like it. Um, uh, probably just like a basic drab also. I like it that way. I like the way he looks. There we go. That should work pretty well. So I like that color. I don't know why I really like that khaki and white combo, or that drab and white combo. I like it a lot. And then with like a grayish weapon. Yeah, I like this. Oh Jesus! That's really While we right. prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can I... pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans on the surrounding area. I wish Commander, I was in the Siberia. lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. Please consider providing us with a directive as soon as possible. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board. So the first thing I want. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. So the first thing I want to do is get extra power. Shut up, please. Thank you. All right, so I think hybrid materials first. Menace one five. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Okay, so now the first thing I want to do is get my sniper up onto this roof. Now, obviously, this could be bad as there could be an alien up there, so I'm going to take it slow at first. And so far it appears not, so I'm going to go ahead and move them all the way over here. Just so that we can get a better view range. Now for these people, I will definitely not be doing that. But if we can look into these windows, I'm going to send this person right here to see if there's anything in there. And it doesn't appear so. So I'm just going to go and head around the, this side and move along the street, because that seems like a good idea, right? Move, move, move. And then this person will be hide behind the trash bags. Stepping off. And so now I have only eight turns, which is why we have Thor being a awesome Moving scout. Up. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get him up to probably about halfway from this route. Ooh, what is, why is he, uh, why does it say that he was flanked for a second there? Ooh, because there's an advent pooper down there. So I do have to be careful with him. He is pretty far in danger for being a snipper. So now I can run pretty far without getting detected. I will get someone inside this building eventually. That is my main goal. Two people on the street, one person in the building probably. And I will put this person probably about right here. It's pretty safe right there. And I can also look in the building and then this person will swing right up onto this roof. So we can get a better firing angle on that sectoid. Move, move, of move. course this is the person with the shotgun. Dang, I'm pretty stupid, aren't I? It's fine. Trust me, it's it's okay. My stupidity aside, it's okay. Thor is just in the perfect position, Jesus. Well, should I go for the ultimate mega flank or no? Probably not. I'll just hit you right there. On the move. Position. No, I do have to be very careful with this person. Because our entire success hinges on whether they can get through here or not. And nope, okay, they cannot, so I'm gonna just pull them back. Okay. Dang it. I mean, that sucks. I'm gonna have to use a lot of grenades now. Once again, not everything goes as planned, and that's okay. Might as well try to hack it, right? Nothing really much worse can happen. Feedback effect, honestly. That's bad. I'd rather not. I'd rather throw some QC grenades. So my first grenade has to be here. Jesus. And then my second grenade has to be pretty much just like almost dropped by my sniper onto this dude's head. Or maybe I should just snipe someone. Yeah, I should probably just snipe someone. Sectoid's definitely the biggest target here. And now we wait and see what damage they deal to us. Extremely lucky. All over me. Pretty unlucky. Get me out of here, oh no. Oh no, don't do something stupid, please. Alright, not stupid, and I appreciate the effort. But please don't get yourself flanked by a sectoid. You just got yourself flanked by a sectoid. Oh man, the mind control. That's not good. That's really not good. The mind control is probably the worst thing that could have happened there. Especially with the soul goats panicking. Stop it. 
now we obviously want to try to kill this sectoid. But it's going to be very difficult without getting a grenade over there. Now, I might be able to get a grenade over there, but that would involve this person moving to probably over here. Good copy. Moving on target. Now, I know that this game's not going to be as nice to me. And give me a good hit on him. So, I think... I mean... There are many things I could try here, but I have to get as far ahead as possible, I think. And try to throw a grenade and just deal with the consequences of this rookie. Ah, uh, that actually is actually kind of a. That actually is actually nice. English, am I right? That's kind of okay because that'll blow up the cover and the cover that the sec board is hiding behind. Leading to a possibly better shot on him. Well, I gotta try it. No cigar. No cigar. Negative damage. I mean, that sucks because now we got a sniper against us, too. the luckiest rookie I've ever seen. You're not going to get so lucky now, but I was pretty lucky of you. This is bad. This is real bad. I need control over my shotgunner. Preferably soon. Man, this is not good. That sec toy just got itself killed. That's very good. Now our person is back alive. So time to end him. There we go. Now obviously the advent trooper is going to be quite the difficult thing. What am I firing at? Oh, the fuel canister. That's like I have an idea about that actually. Quite, not quite. Dang it. I mean, it's still an idea, and it's still going to destroy cover, which is the desired effect. Not a good move. There's not really a good move I can make with him right now, so I need to make this move with this person first. So obviously, I do not want to be right here or anywhere near this area. So I need to probably get inside, is what I would say. Rolling. It's better cover. Now I can still see these people and I have slightly worse shot on him, but I am going to take it. Well, miss 100% of the shots you do not take. I know, pretty cheesy, but eh, it's, it's what it is, dude. So... I'm pretty much... Just going to hope that I kill him in one shot. It's pretty much my best option right here. Because I'm flanking him, so it's 100% chance to hit him. Are you kidding me? God, that's so bad. That is so bad. That is for real the worst. I think. Luck I've ever had in this game. I've had some bad XCOM luck. All right. 
Alright, that was pretty lucky, but I'm not gonna get so lucky on the next shot that's coming in. Oh, never mind. The suit's not shooting. Oh, crap. The data transfer. Okay. So, where's the relay at? The relay is in there, so I'll send the shotgunner after the relay. Because these two should be able to handle it. So, I'm gonna send the shotgun after the relay. On the move. Eyes on the target. And this person's out inside. And I will send them up to over here. And now, I really hope the gods of XCOM smile upon me. They have not. Enemy and that's off. okay. Running try. So now, I think I am going to fall back to probably right about here. Heading there now. That'll be a pretty safe place to fall back to. And now this dude's done for. And now all I need to do is throw a grenade, and this dude's dead up here. Now obviously that dude has a very clear shot on my uh, person. And there's another set to wait, that's not good. We need to call the Sky Ranger and get out as fast as we can after we deploy this thing up. I hate these missions with a passion, by the way. Oh. Well, that sucks. We need to get out ASAP. I mean, that really does suck. We lost two soldiers. Position confirmed. One from the A team too. So. Now, I wish there was an evac for all the troops. I mean, is there like a way to do that? And that would be great. But anywho. And what's the worst thing that can happen? We're just gonna try to hack it. Get what we can from this mission, exfiltrate. And get out of here. The gods have smiled upon me. And giving me supplies. We're good to go. And now I get out. Not the best mission, but these missions are always really bad. Like, I feel like specifically the missions with the data transfer are the worst. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning. I knew I shouldn't have taken it because it was one of these missions. It wasn't necessarily the tactics, it was more of the circumstance. So, the circumstance was very bad, Getting losing two soldiers in the first battle, plus that door opening thing that I thought I could walk away from, but clearly not, so next time I will just throw the grenade like I was going to, but I mean, at least we didn't do as bad as I thought we would, I thought we were going to lose everyone at one point there. Which is one good thing to mention about this entire bad situation, is that we at least got two soldiers out.